Hello there. Thanks for joining us on the news this morning. I am Mike Okwache. We begin this hour in Lagos, where a state high court sitting at the Tafar Balewa Square has sentenced a Danish man, Peter Nielsen, to death by hanging. Mr. Nielsen was accused of killing his wife, Zainab, and his three-and-a-half-year-old daughter. The judgment, which lasted about five hours, was delivered by Justice Bolali Okikuru Ihile. Femi Foladiemo reports. Relationship with both deceased persons and didn't murder them. But Justice Okikiolu Egele based her guilty verdicts on the post mortem reports presented by forensic pathologist Professor John Obafua, who had submitted that the bruises found on the neck and head of Zainab were consistent with blunt trauma, which weren't self inflicted. He added that the tiny signs of bleeding found in Petra's brain proved she was smoothed to death. The court submitted that their deaths were due to severe brain swelling and established from other testimonies by some prosecution witnesses, including family members, that he had been beating Zainab. DNA results of the extract found under Zainab's fingernail upon her death also showed she tried to fight back in the deadly encounter. Those samples were found to match that of the defendant. He was represented by Uyi Giwa Osage, while Adebayo Harun appeared for the state government. Several activists who had been following the case since 2018 were also present. The judge crossed the T's, dotted the I's, and thoroughly dissected all the evidence from, from, from both the prosecution and the defendants. And so it is very clear that the judgment of this court will stand the test of time. Zenab and Petra still lie still, cold in the mortuary after four years and 42 days. But the only thing that has served as a suiting balm is that justice has been served. We settled them before and I, I put it in my testimony in the court that they have come to Abuja so many times and we have settled them so that she will go back to her husband. We don't want a situation by maybe you are married, later we say you are divorced. You know, we don't want that. So that's why we, say we never knew our daughter is gone forever. The judge noted in her judgment that there was even no need for Zainab to have expressed her desire for a divorce from her husband, Peter Nelson, saying that the marriage to Peter Nelson was even illegal. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.